Hi everyone and welcome to the Wednesday meetup and class. Here's Basti, he's going to be on the chat. Hi everyone. Any questions looking after you if anything happens during during the exercises. Really, really excited about this week. Um, we're getting really getting into winter now, so it's really important that we look after our water element. And we're going to be doing some exercises. We've got a great point of the week, which I'm going to uh, introduce you to later. I'm really excited about that. But the main thing is to really get into our energy, really de-stress us. So let's find out how we're doing. I, we noticed with the second lockdown that there was definitely an increase in stress and more of you going into that blue zone, which we really don't want. We want to look after you and make sure that we can all keep positive and uh, enjoy our lives as much as possible. So could you just tell us how you're coping overall? Are you coping well, okay, neutral, stressed? Or very stressed, and we'll just give an idea of how you, how we can look after you. Okay, I'm really sorry if you're having a hard time of it, and that's why we're here to use all the resources of Chinese medicine to help ourselves get through the next get through the winter. And well done for those of you who are doing okay there. That's great. Okay, so first of all, I thought we'd just mix things up a little bit today. I'm just going to uh, share some interesting information about the water element. So we talked about the water element last week. We experienced some of the qualities of it. Um, and today I thought one of the themes could be regulating our lower burner in terms of temperature. So I'm going to roll a poll now. Which of these climates do you think is associated with the water element? There's no real right answer here. But what do you think if you just put what you think uh, you associate with the water element and the lower burner? And we'll just see whether we get a, what kind of answers we get. Hey, windy, yeah, like that. Very good. <laughs> yeah, okay, so most of you have put, opted for cold, which is the traditional association of the water element. Um, and it can get hot though, the lower burner can get hot. We don't like that, that's not a good thing. You can get like cystitis and things, horrible things like that. You can get wind in the lower burner, we don't like that either because you get pains moving about. And we don't definitely don't like it getting dry because you can get constipation and all kinds of problems. But the main association is with the cold. So one of the aims of today is to get our lower burner, our water element, lovely and warm. And as we go through, we're going to explore uh, one of the points that's really good for breathing. So I thought we'd do an exercise just to check in on how our breathing is. So we've got like over a quarter of you are like neutral, about a third of the group are about neutral or feeling stressed. So let's see how our breathing works. What I'm going to get to do is I'm going to get you to do this exercise. I'm going to do it myself and then we'll find out how we're doing as a group. Then we'll get straight on with the exercises. OK, so if you just like to close your eyes, and just sit or stand just for a second. We're not doing anything particular. We're just tuning into our own body. Okay. And what I'd like you to do without really thinking about it, without doing any particular exercise or anything, I just want you to take a deep breath in. Okay, take the deep breath in and hold it. And what I want you to do is sense, and I'm doing it myself, sensing where does the lowest part of that breathing feel like it's going to. Okay, where is it going to? Is it just the upper lungs, the whole lungs, the dark? Oh, you can breathe out, by the way. <laughs> I nearly forgot to breathe out myself then. <laughs> um, yeah, so where did your lowest part of your breath go to? Um, and... I'm going to ask you a poll and we're going to find out where did the lowest part of your breath um, come to. All right. And we'll find out as a group and we're going to work on that today. So where did the lowest part of your breath come to the upper lungs, the lungs, upper abdomen or the lower abdomen? I know we've got quite a few shiatsu practitioners who have come on board our client support class. So hopefully they're all trained in the lower abdomen, which is probably putting the score up a little bit there. Um, but what we want to do is we want to try and get all of us in the group to get the breathing much lower. And that's where point of the week is going to come in. But I'm keeping it secret this week. I'm not going to tell you about it until after the exercises. OK, cool. So are you ready? So let's get on straight on with week four um, of our yearly cycle. And we're going to concentrate on warming the lower burner and we're going to warm the lower burner and we're going to work on the breathing. 
So if you can if you can stand up, that's great. If you need to <clears throat> if you need to sit down and just follow through the exercises. If you feel um, lightheaded or you feel a bit weird during any exercises, just take it easy. Get some help from Basti on the chat. Okay, and we'll uh, see how we get on. Okay, so first of all, let's just stand and see how we're feeling in terms of connection with heaven and earth. Just check out and see whether you're feeling kind of like heavy, like you're sinking down, or whether you feel a little bit giddy and you're going like this. Okay, just check in with that. Take some nice, easy breaths. And one of the ways we can centralize our energy, this is the most important thing of all, is to energize the lower burner, the kidney energy area. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that it's nice and warm because we don't want that area to get cold. And in fact, here's a health tip from the Orient, uh, from the East. Um, we tend to put scarves around our necks, but in China, they tend to put scarves around their waist because they want to try and keep this whole area as warm as possible. So that's a little health tip for us, keeping this area as warm as possible. So relaxing our feet, opening up kidney one, that's the point right on the sole of the foot, checking our balance between heaven and earth, and we're going to our hands together. We're going to just warm our hands up. We're going to just shake our arms out and make sure that there's no tension in our arms because we want the chi, the energy to go down our arms and into the dantian. Okay, so really shake out those wrists, shake out the elbows, shake out your shoulders. Very good. Okay. Okay, so let's get some heat into that lower burner. We're rubbing our hands together, nice and open hands. And we're going to place one hand over the other. Now, if you re find your navel and you go a kind of an inch and a half down to two inches down, so it's around about a third of the way down. Around here, there's two very important points that we'll talk about another time. Um, but these, this whole area is the Ming Men. It's like a mythical place that has to be kept warm, especially in the winter, because cold can get into this area. So we're going to warm it up, and as we warm it up, you'll notice that your breathing will naturally sink lower in the body. So let's do that. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Keep the kidney one, as long as your feet nice and open. And let's just imagine heat going into the lower burner through the Ming Men. Keep the shoulders really relaxed. Relaxing our hips. Okay, I'm going to stick with this until we really feel that warmth starting to be generated around the Ming Men. Okay, so keep going. That's really very good. Very good. Okay, so now let's just relax our breathing. Really nice and easy. Just let go in your upper body. As we let go in our upper body, we can bring our attention, bring our mind, our awareness down into that mean men, down into the lower burner there. Okay, we're just going to keep going. Okay, now one of the places that cold can invade the body really easily, you may have experienced that yourself, is into the lower back. If you've ever been caught in a cold draft or sat on a bench or something, in the cold and had it like a dull or even a severe ache in the back, the lower back, that's, in Chinese medicine, that's cold invading the, the kidneys, invading the kidney and bladder channel. And we really want to avoid that around here. So we want, around this time of year, so we want to energize and warm the Ming Men. Relax the whole of the upper body. How are we doing? It's getting warm, right? So now let's take some of that warmth, and if you've got enough flexibility in your shoulders, we're going to work bladder 23. So we're this is this point here. We're doing, going to do this later on uh, in a few weeks' time. It's in the middle of the lower back here, and it's connected to the lower burner. So what we're doing is we're just warming this area up again, warming it up, keeping our shoulders relaxed. 
relaxing the hips. Very good. Okay, and now we can do this action as well with the palms down this part. This is the whole of the lower burner, the whole of the lower burner, and down onto the sacrum and around the sacroiliac joint. That's another place that cold can easily get into. So let's try doing that. We're going to rub it like this from here. And imagine heat coming out of your palms of your hands and into these channels here, all around the sacrum, the bladder and the kidney channel. If it's too much for you just to relax and shake out your arms. It's too much for your shoulders. If you can do this and get it really warm, it's a great idea. Okay, excellent. Very good. Okay, so let's just check in and see how it feels in the lower burner. It's getting warm, isn't it? Really getting warm. Okay, so now let's increase our connection with the earth by opening up the kidney and bladder channels and we're going to use some dough in for this because we want to energize and we want to get them warm and active and we're going to start off um, with uh, working the channels and the legs and then we'll do some work on the feet okay so if you remember from previous weeks the kidney channel runs up the inside of the ankles remember kidney three goes up into kidney ten and up this way and then down the outside of the legs so if you just check in and see how your legs feel now, and we'll do some dough in and check back in and see what's happening. So you can use fingertips or loose fists. And what I'm doing is I'm working up the inside back of the legs, okay? The exact location is not really that important. Just keep it in the inside back of the legs. Nice bit of tapping. Behind the knee, that's us give 10 and then up. And then when you come around, we're going to give sacrum a bit of a tap because you want to energize the sacrum. And we're going to go down the back of the legs, doing this. This is the bladder channel. This is the other channel of the water element. You want to get any cold out of that channel, any cold that's lurking in there, I'm going to give it a good tap, warm it up. Let's go back to the kidney channel, give that a bit more of a energize. Very good. And then the bladder channel. Let's just do one more pass on the kidney channel. We're imagining we're squeezing any cold out of the channel, warming it up. In fact, the percussion will heat the channel, so that's a really good thing. Same with the bladder channel. Brushing off. Okay, excellent. Well done. And now we're just going to check in. Okay, doesn't that feel great? Feel your legs now. Aren't they much more kind of more tingly? And this connection is starting to really connect with the earth now. There's one bit that's missing, and you can sure you can feel it, and that is kidney one on the sole of the foot. We need to really make sure we open that up. So let me just bring my camera up, narrow it down, and let's do let's work on kidney one together. Remember that's on the sole of the foot. And we're going to make sure we really warm our feet up. Okay, and if you remember from previous weeks, we've got kidney one right in the middle, one third the distance down the center of the foot. And then it goes round here, doesn't it, into the back of the ankle. 
So we're really getting that sole of the foot really opened up. Okay, we're opening the whole foot up like this. There we go. Very good, rubbing. Of course the feet are in contact with the ground and that's really important to keep our feet as warm as we can. We don't want cold coming up the kidney channel through kidney one, that's the last we need. So make sure you keep your feet warm and keep the um, uh, keep and make sure you have nice uh, warm footwear on. Okay, so now let's just adjust ourselves and go into the um, the other foot. Yeah. So. Oh. Make sure you give kidney one a really good, a really good pounding there. Do you know exactly where it is? It's one third the distance down the midline of the foot. And I like to do this pressing in, stretching my foot away from me. But whatever works for you, we just want to get that whole sole of the foot as warm as possible and energized so that, just to avoid any chance of cold going up that channel. We want to really get that warm. And I think we'll find when we stand up again, having done doughing onto the kidney and bladder channel, once we've opened up the feet, we're gonna have an absolutely awesome connection with the earth. And that's really, really good for stress relief. We wanna make sure that we're nice and grounded and that we don't start panicking and getting kind of stressed, all that energy going up into the upper body. Okay, if you remember, kidney one is the major point in the body that we use to bring any panicky feelings out of the head and down into the uh, down into the earth. Okay, how does that feel? A bit of a rub. Okay, let's stand up and check in and see what's happening. Wow, doesn't that feel great? Doesn't that feel really calm now? We've got a nice warm Dantian. We've got a lovely feeling of connection through the earth, um, through our feet and down into the earth. And you'll notice, look, if you breathe in now, you'll notice how much more relaxed this is now and how much more, how much lower our breathing is going. And that's because we've uh, energized and warmed the lower burner and connected down into the earth. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so now we can move up. We can do some work on the middle burner. I know the last last week or two, the middle burner has been a bit of an issue and that's related to frustration and irritation and worry. And there's a lot of that about. We need to get this strong first though to ground us into the ground and then we can free up the uh, middle burner. So let's just check in with our middle burner today, shall we? And just see what it feels like. I'm just gonna literally just press around here This is the diaphragm. You've also got the stomach and the liver, organs and the intestines here. Just have a feel around. See what it's like. Does it feel tight? Does it feel painful? Ideally, it should feel really kind of open and pain-free and loose all around this area here. So let's do some doughings to start with and see if we can get that area really, really relaxed. We need, we need to use the stomach and the liver and gallbladder channels to do that, and they're in the legs as well. So it's gonna even make us even more grounded when we finish. So let's keep going with the dough in. We're just gonna shake our arms out again. Let's just do a few minutes of shaking to make sure we don't get any tension in our arms. That's it. And now we're gonna just tap down the stomach channel. So that goes from the middle burner, it goes just down the outside of the abdominal muscles here. Just going to tap along here very lightly just to energize the channel and then it goes down the outside front of the leg so let's do this together keep the arms really relaxed we're going to go down 
down the stomach channel, over the knees, and down the outside of the shins. Very good. And then we go up the inside of the legs. It's the spleen channel, and this goes up the inside front of the legs. It goes up actually, and it goes back up into the middle burner here. So this front of the body is all connected to the stomach and the digestion. We can relax that middle burner by working the channels. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm just feeling out, seeing if there's any really good places that make this area feel more relaxed. Just keep going down. Clean channel. Down the stump channel. Oops, I missed out the connection with the middle burner. So we can go up here, the channels run on the legs, but we can also connect them here. It's a good idea to do that. Make sure you've got the continuous feeling from the middle burner all the way down. Okay, awesome. And then up the inside, up the spleen channel on the inside. Yeah, do it one more time. So down the stomach. And then up the inside of the legs. And go up, up, up into the abdomen again. And now we're going to brush off. We're going to check in again, okay? Let's just feel that middle burn. And if it's released now, that means you're probably more on the worrying side. Maybe the stomach channel was obstructed. This feels a lot looser. It does for me. <laughs> um, if it's still a bit tense, you might need the next pair of meridians, which is the gallbladder and the liver. And these are more on the sides of the body. So let's check out and see what effect this has on our middle burn. We're going to go down the outside of the body. Keep those arms really relaxed. Down the outside of the body, down the outside of the legs, up the inside of the legs, just up right up the inside there, that's the liver channel. And then down the outside, you can go up a little bit higher actually, because this is where the liver and the gallbladder channels run. They connect with the middle burner through the sides here, through the sides of the ribs. Lots of dough in. Really getting warm. Down the outside. Inside. Down the outside. One more for that. Very good. Okay, and we should brush off. Okay, shaking the legs out. Okay, so we've actually worked every single one of the classical meridians on the legs. We've worked the kidney and the bladder, the stomach and the spleen, and the liver and the gallbladder. There's six of them. So by now we should be feeling pretty awesome in the legs. So let's see. Standing, open up kidney one, relax our breathing. And just bringing our mind's eye into the legs and into the lower burner. Pretty good feeling, isn't it? Okay, so now what about this middle burner now? Wow, okay, that's much, much better. Okay, a little bit tin twingy here. Um, but the rest of it for me feels a lot freer. Hopefully it does for you too. And now let's consolidate that by really twisting the middle burner and feeling that feeling of freedom as we move from side to side, keeping our hips nice and central. We've got a solid lower burner and we're moving this middle burner, rotating, opening it up. Very good. Okay, don't let your shoulders raise up though. Keep the shoulders relaxed. That's it. And keep that, let's keep that feeling of connection with the earth. So I'm 
bringing my mind's eye down into kidney one again, keeping my breathing really low. Really enjoying that feeling of freedom of movement in the middle burner. Very good. Very good. Okay, so let's come back to the center again. Check in again. Nice. Can you feel that? Nice feeling of openness here. Let's really open that up. Nice and solid in the lower burner and tingly and active legs right the way down through and into the earth. That's really good. Okay, so if we want to do some stretches now, let's just add in some stretches for those channels for the middle burner. Basically, any stretch backwards like this opens up the stomach and the spleen channel. You can imagine, can't you? It opens up, stretches them like that. And any side stretch opens up the gallbladder and the liver channels. So let's just do some real easy stretches. Don't overdo it. Keep it nice and relaxed. Don't overstretch. I'm just gonna imagine those channels opening up. So first of all, let's do a stretch for the stomach channel. So let's first of all lean forward and we're just gonna hang down. This is a kidney and bladder meridian stretch. We're just gonna let the spine relax open. Using the weight of our arms and the weight of our head and neck just to let that sink down. And we're gonna breathe in. Okay, we're gonna come up. We're gonna breathe out and stretch backwards very, very gently, lifting up. And what I'm doing is I'm feeling the stretch all the way down the front of my legs and into the middle burner. Got it? Nice and easy. Don't put any strain on your back. Keep it really easy. Breathing in, breathing out, floating down. And then hang. This is the counter stretch and it just allows us to open up the back and the sacrum. Excellent. Let's do it another couple of times, breathing in. Plant your feet firmly on the ground, stretch the front of your body. Feel the connection between your legs and the middle burner. Okay, nice and easy, no straining, breathing in, breathing out, floating down. And hanging down. Okay, one more, breathing in. Feet firm on the floor, stretching the fronts of your legs, of our legs I should say, and then we move our head back slightly and that will get the stretch all the way down the front. Nice and easy, again, no straining. Imagine that channel, breathing in, breathing out and floating down. Okay, so that's the stomach meridian stretch and any stretch, yoga stretch or anything like cobra, anything like that, strength stretches the stomach channel. And in a similar way, any side stretch stretches the liver and the gallbladder channel. So if we just bring our feet slightly further apart, we can hold the gallbladder channel, bring the hand up like this, breathe in, breathe out and reaching up and over feeling a stretch all the way down the sides of our body and into our legs there, breathing out. Breathing in, let's do the other side, breathe out. Just opening and stretching. Yeah, we'll do it three times both sides, breathing in, breathing out. Breathing out. 
and then one more this side. Okay, so there's some meridian stretches for the middle burner there. And the forward bending stretches open the bladder channel and they're very good for the lower burner. Okay, excellent. So here we are, we're halfway through. And we're already feeling a lot better, right? Nice and connected to the lower burner, nice and warm. Legs are feeling pretty amazing, connected to the earth. And we've got that nice flexibility feeling in the middle burner. And once we've done that, then we can start working on the upper burner. When we're stressed, we get a lot of the symptoms in the upper burner, breathing high up in the body, okay, heartbeat increases. We need to, first of all, get this nice and strong and this nice and flexible, and then this will naturally start to relax. And let's just check in with our breathing halfway through and see how our breathing has changed, okay? So just standing, connecting with the um, kibiwa, feeling the lower dantian, relaxing the middle burner. Okay, so now let's just take a deep breath in again without forcing it in any way, just take a deep breath in as deep as you can. Hold it and notice where the breath has gone. And breathe out. Okay, now compare that experience to the one we had just 30 minutes ago. Certainly for me, my breath was much higher up. And now it's just naturally starting to expand downwards. And that's one of the best stress releasing um, things that we can do on our own is to get that breathing nice and calm. So once we've done this, you can see that most of the work on the breathing, funnily enough, is done in the lower part of the body. But now we can move upwards and we can start working and chilling out, and energizing the upper burner. And this is where the point of the week is gonna come in very soon. First of all, let's work on the heart and the heart protector channels. These are the channels that run on the inside of the arm and the ones that we can use to calm down the heart rate and generally, again, reduce the level of stress there. So let's first of all open up those channels with some stretches. You'll feel them, I think, if I just follow through the stretches. And then once we've got the location, we can start using some dough in just to energize them. So if you breathe in, breathe out, stretch open like this with the middle finger stretched out and just sense a connection into the chest and right into around the heart organ. That's the pericardium channel and there are facial connections right into the whole um, heart organ with that one. So let's do it again. Breathing in, breathing out. Got it? you just got that feeling that goes right through, almost like a band right the way through here. Excellent. One more. So if you've got anything like palpitations, we just feel your heartbeat's racing a bit, it's really worth knowing where this channel is. So let's just do some going on the pericardium channel. It's right down the middle of the arm and it goes into the palm and into this finger here. So let's just start off on the chest around here. It's going to tap the area, we're just going to kind of like energize it. Nice and gentle, I'm not thumping it too hard here, I'm just using my fingertips because it's a yin channel of the arm, so it needs a bit of delicate um, treatment. <laughs> so let's go down to the wrist, and then we're gonna go down the middle of the arm again. We'll do it three times. And then we just work on our hands, okay? Okay, now let's do some self shots on our hands. We're gonna press from the middle of the wrist and we're gonna press right the way through the hand. Onto the middle finger. And then we're gonna squeeze it all the way down. And then just pull that middle finger. Yeah. 
do it another time. And just pressing down from the wrist. And this is opening up the whole pericardium channel. Very good for calming the heartbeat. Okay, excellent. Let's do the other side. Right down from the chest, <coughs> all the way down the middle of the inside of the arm. Okay, and then we're going to go down doing some self shiatsu on the palm, from the wrist down towards the middle finger. Brushing off. Very good. So that's the pericardium channel. Now check this out. Try this now and just see if you can feel a difference. Feel the middle finger, breathe in, breathe out, stretch back. And notice that your stretch is much easier and my arms are going way further back. Look how much further they're going back now. I was about here before. Okay, and that's because all the fascia related to the channel have all kind of eased. The channel's been energized and open. You can feel it in the stretch. It's great stuff, isn't it? Okay. How about let's just work uh, on the heart channel just for a second. So we're just going to tap it along the inside of the arm here. Just three times again down to the wrist. Just very lightly tapping with the fingertips. Okay, and we go on to the little finger. I'm just doing some self shots. So again, down, squeezing down towards the little finger. There we go. Okay, and then the other side, three times down towards the little finger. Very good, and then press in here. Okay, and that's the heart channel. Again, it's all part of the same connection with the upper burner, which just leaves us with the lungs, okay? And I'm leaving, that, leaving this to last because um, I'd like to introduce you to point of the week, <laughs> um, and I'd like you to experience it first uh, before I show you the picture, I'll show you the picture of it later and uh, later at the end of the exercises, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to basically unbind the whole chest, we're going to free up the whole chest, and we're going to use two channels to do that. We're going to choose the lung channel, which is pretty obvious, I guess, the lung channel, but also, big surprise, the kidney channel runs up here, it runs up near to the clavicle, which is this coll collarbone here, and it runs right up into here, and there's a close connection between your breathing and how calm your breathing is, and that connection through the central channel down into the Ming Men. And I'd like us to experience that directly. We're gonna do it with dough in, and I'll just show you what I mean. Check this out, okay? So we're standing, sh feet shoulder width apart. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do what we've done before, but just tune in and see what happens. <clears throat> so we're gonna work around lung one, as we've done before in previous weeks, and that's all around this area here, right in front of the shoulder. And that's a very important point for the breathing because it releases the chest, obviously it opens up the lung channel, okay? As we do that, like you just tune into how you're feeling in your lungs. 
And what you'll feel is you'll feel a kind of like an overall feeling of the lungs uh, being stimulated. And if we go down the channel, we're going to keep going down the channel with the dough in, down to the thumb. And you'll get a feeling of the whole general feeling of the chest opening up. Okay. So this is the action of the lungs in opening up the chest and connecting. Okay, so now let's have another different type of experience. What we're going to do, get you to do now, what we're going to do together, is we're going to tap towards the centre line. And if we follow the clavicle underneath here, and we get to here, just before we get to the end of the clavicle, we're going to hit kidney 27, and that has a different feeling. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's just start tapping. Keep really relaxed, and just tune in internally to the feeling of, the, of that point that we're working here. And now we're gonna work along the, underneath the clavicle. Okay, now when we get to here, just keep tapping here. Can you feel a much more central connection all the way down the front of our body, almost right into the stomach and then down further? And that's because this point here, kidney 27, directly connects down into the lower dantian and also the middle, the middle um, a burner as well. It's a very strong point. It can be used even for digestive problems. But the main thing it does is it connects the kidney, the lower burner, with the lungs. And you can feel the difference. Like if you tap here and you go here, this is much more of a general open kind of feeling, isn't it? The lungs. You come here, you get to the center, and suddenly you can feel this central connection all the way down the front of your body. Isn't that exciting? That's really, really exciting. And that's really useful because it's one of the best stress-releasing things we can do. Connect our breathing down to the lower burner. So we're not going like, <gasps> okay, we're going, whatever, okay? It's the super chill, shiatsu, chill out, we can survive anything technique. <laughs> okay, so let's do it on the other side. Okay, we're gonna open up the lungs. See, it's nice and general. You can feel it reverberating right through the whole of the lung there. Uh, and we can emphasize that by going down the channel. We're working down towards the thumb. <clears throat> if you cough and expel anything out of your lungs when you're doing this, then it's all really good. You can imagine that kidney 27 is really good for immunity as well because what it does is it increases the power of the lungs and their general energy connection with the dantian. So combined with what we've done today with warming the lower dantian, freeing up the middle burner, it's the best thing we can do to keep our health absolutely in tip-top condition, especially in the winter. Okay, so we go down. Whoa. Get down into the thumb. Okay, that's the lung channel. Okay, so let's see if we can do it again. Let's see if we can feel the difference between lung and the kidney channel, all right? So I'm gonna start off here. I'm tuning in oh, to that feeling in the whole lung, especially when you get around to here. This is around lung one. It really feels like the whole of the lungs are being stimulated, doesn't it? Now slowly work to underneath the clavicle, that's the collarbone, that's this bone here, the collarbone, pretty easy to find. Slowly work along it, tuning into the effects of the dough in. And you'll find that when you get right in almost to the end of the clavicle, just underneath it, there's suddenly a very different feeling all through the central channels into the middle burner and even down into the lower burner. It's a much more centralized feeling. And what you're feeling there is you're feeling the action of our point of the week, which is bladder 27. And I want you to just keep doing it and I'll just put the um, chart up and I'll show you what it looks like. That's our cold water element. 
And look here, I've got a picture of it here for you. There we are. Okay, so let's just keep doing it. And you can see where it is. It's right underneath the end of the clavicle. So if you feel your clavicle, you can feel like a little bobbly bit at the end. Go back a bit and there's like a hollow there, just where I'm thumping now. It unbinds the chest. It also coughing, wheezing and chest pain, but also it also connects down into the middle and the lower burner. And that's what you're feeling right now. Okay, that's kidney 27. That's our point of the week. Okay, isn't that great? Okay, so let's just do it both sides for superpower kidney 27. And then we better check out the yang channels to make sure we're completely balanced for the rest of this week. Okay, so here we go. General lungs, general lungs, general lungs come into the middle. Feel the central channel connection down into the middle and the lower burner. And if you just stimulate that point now, that whole area around there, uh, and take some nice deep breaths into the lower abdomen. It's almost like there's a tube there where that energy is going down into the lower burner. And that's like an awesome, awesome thing that we can do to really strengthen our courage, warm up the lower burner, calm our breathing, and generally have that willpower and that positivity to take us through. Okay, fantastic. So now the next thing we need to do, we've got 10 minutes left, I think. Yep, more or less. So we've got to make sure that we look after our yang channels. Remember, these are the yin channels. You've mostly worked on them, we might work all the yang channels of the arm, of the legs. The yang channels are these ones that connect with the head and go down the arms and down here. And we want to make sure that we don't get any tension or anything stuck in our face. So let's just do a nice simple five minute face and neck routine and just clear all those yang channels out. Okay, so just let's just first of all relax our foreheads. We're going to gently press around the eyebrows, around the orbit of the eye. And underneath the eye as well, nice and slowly and steadily. Rubbing your hands together, palms over the eyes. Three breaths, relaxing our eyes. There we are, okay. And now we can squeeze around the sides of our Head. This is the triple heater channel and the gallbladder channel. So it's top, sides. The top goes down into the back, the sides go down the sides, and the front goes down the front. <laughs> it's really that easy. So now from the eyes, we can go down here. This is the stomach channel, by the way, underneath the cheekbones. Oh, great place for releasing tension just around here. And if you follow the cheekbones round, if we do that, if we follow our cheekbones round, we'll get to some nice little indentations around the jaw, which are also stomach points. And they are very important to release because tension, stress, often causes us to clench our jaw, doesn't it? Okay, so let's get that nice relaxed feeling in the jaw. And then we go here. Okay, and now the neck. So we basically got back, sides, and the front. So let's do the back first. So I'm gonna squeeze in down the back of my neck, like this. Along the back here, down these muscles here, top of the trapezius muscle, with the breath. Okay, now the side of the neck, more round here. <clears throat> this is more the gallbladder channel, the triple heater channel. 
So I'm moving my hands from the center of the neck further out to the outside, giving it a good squeeze. If this is too much for your shoulders, by the way, if it's too strenuous for your shoulders, you can always relax your shoulders and tap along channels. That's another option in case that's easier for you. Okay, so if you look more like this, tapping. The main thing is you really want to make sure we really we really want to make sure that we get these neck nice and relaxed and basically the energy moving this way down the yang channels because that will avoid any headaches or anything like that working down the front the fca muscle that's this big muscle here giving it a good squeeze How about giving the ears a bit of a pull? Ears are related to the kidney channel, by the way. Chinese medicine, we'll find out more about that later in this 10 week cycle. <laughs> okay, how's your, how are your yang channels in your head? Give them a bit of a check over. Eyes feel okay? Jaw relaxed? Neck feel all right? Anything else need doing? No? Okay, so let's get now work on the yang channels as they go down the arms. So we've got the triple heater and we've got the triple heater, the small intestine and the large intestine. They all come down from the face, basically. Basically, the small intestine's at the back, the triple heater's on the sides and the large intestine's on the front. It's pretty simple, right? So basically, if we just tap here from the, uh, the neck and we just tap all the way along the top of the shoulders here, we'll get all three of them. And then if we work down like this, we can pretty much get all three of them like that. It's basically all the yang channels of the arm. They all come from the head down this way and go like this. So lots of these points are used for treating headaches in the hand. Okay, so basically what we do is we squeeze the energy way down from the head, down into the fingertips and out the hands. Very good. Let's do that three times, do the same thing on the other side three times. Oh, I thought my nose clearing then, I must have hit the large intestine channel by accident. <laughs> Excellent. Brushing off. Ooh, shaking, 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 shaking. Okay, excellent. Just got a few more minutes just to shake out, put it all together, and see how we're doing. Okay, so that should feel a nice connection now between the head and down the arms. Can you feel that? Just shake out our shoulders and arms. Nice, relaxed jaw. Relaxed eyes. Oh. Just shaking right way down to the legs. We've already done lots of work on the yang chance of the legs, so we should be pretty okay with that. Excellent. So now it's time for our reward. It's time for our reward to feel what we've done with our energy in the last hour. And the, probably the best way to really enjoy that is to do that simple breathing exercise and just feel where we're at with our energy. So we're going to Stand very simply, open up kidney one, feel that lovely energized feeling in kidney one, nice and easy, relaxed and energized legs, relaxing the hips. And now bring our attention to the Dantian and that's a comfortable, warm, solid feeling we've got there in the lower Dantian and that's the root of all the rest of the um, connection to the body. Nice and easy middle burner. Okay. But now tune into that connection between the lungs right the way down the front of the body into the Dantian. And because we worked it so strongly here, you should feel like a really strong core of connection through your body. And for those of us who do get a little bit stressed, 
For those of us whose breathing is high, what we've done is we've kind of reprogrammed our whole energy, our whole energy to just be happier and calmer. And the secret to that is energizing the lower burner and bringing that breath down into that lower abdomen. We can feel that really clearly if we do this simple breathing exercise. Let's do it all together, okay? Connecting our golden thread up towards the heavens, feeling our connection with the earth. And we're gonna breathe in, let our arms float up, feel the connection with the earth and press up from the earth. Keep all those joints really nice and open. That's it, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Just floating up, that's it, okay? Feel that breath sinking into the lower abdomen. And we're pushing up from the ground, connecting with the earth. Just a few more, keeping that, those shoulders really relaxed, floating down. Okay, excellent, well done, brilliant. So now let's just do a final check without forcing any particular pattern. I'm just gonna stand and we're gonna just take the deepest breath in you can breathe in. Okay, ready? After three, one, two, three. Hold it and breathe out. Okay, now did you notice the difference to where your breath went from? And even those of you um, who had the breathing low down, did you notice that it was much stronger lower down uh, when we breathe in? So that's really excellent um, if you've achieved that. That's really, really good. That's gonna be so helpful for the next week. So the message this week is keep that cold out of the lower burner and use Kidney 27, this area around here, just to bring your breathing down, keep ourselves calm, keep ourselves positive. Excellent, thank you very much. Big thank you to Basti. And all we need to do now is find out if you feel any more balanced. I'm gonna put the how do you feel now poll up, okay? So if your breathing's changed, then you can check the more balanced. balanced. You may have had a reaction, you may feel less balanced. Hopefully Basti can help you out in the chat with that. Let's just see how we've done this week as a group. So how do you feel now? Do you feel more balanced, less balanced, or about the same? Okay, if you feel about the same, you just might, might need to just repeat the exercise a few more times. If you need some help, just email us. If you need some shiatsu treatment, please come in or have a distant session with us. If you've had a reaction and you feel like something's happening, please keep in touch with us and we can help you with that if you need to, but usually reactions will go very quickly, okay? And then hopefully you'll feel more connected with the earth. Okay, so that's it. That's the end of another Wednesday class. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please tell all your friends. Um, it's free to access, um, and uh, we're funded completely by our generous patrons who donate to help us keep the lights on here. And we're doing okay so far. So we're still here, and we're planning to be here for the next year to take you right through an entire cycle. And each week we tune into the group, we find out what's happening and we gear the exercises directly for you. Okay, so if Basti wants to come in and say um, hello and I'll, or goodbye in fact, <laughs> and what I'll do is I'll just uh, put a smiley... Yeah, fantastic there we are, Basti. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Really you could tell how excited I was about bladder. Absolutely. About and I really right? noticed the difference. I was doing a little bit on myself as we were going. Really noticed the difference. Yeah. Yeah. It's so interesting. It connects down. And one of the classical associations with um, Kidney 27 is with the digestive system. So it's just interesting. So yeah. amazing when you can feel it on yourself, isn't it? Yeah, that part I hadn't expected. Okay, great. No, I know. I was, I'm really excited about it. Just shows you, it doesn't matter how many years you've been doing this stuff, there's always more to learn, isn't there? <laughs> okay, bye everyone, and see you, um, yeah, see you next week. Tell all your friends.